Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video review for you. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Nokia NHD14. Uh, now, a lot of places are going to show you box openings, what's in the box, um, stuff like that, but at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? We need to get down to the nitty gritty of the cooler, because there is a fair amount to cover. I've been very, very surprised with this cooler. But, you know, I'll show you the box. It is massive. Do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, when you see the heat sink actually on a rig, it is huge as well. Now, I'll try and post up some pictures and stuff for you um, about the heat sink. But generally, there's um, six heat pipes that go from one of the towers right the way through to the next tower. And then you've got 240mm fans. First 140 millimeter fan there is what we what I'd call like a normal square fan. But then you've got the uh, the second 140 millimeter fan, which is a round fan. So you get uh, it, it protrudes further out. So it's technically a larger fan, but it's still 140 millimeter mounting. The good thing about that is it sticks out quite a way underneath. So you get extra airflow being pulled over the ram and also um, over the heat sinks as well. So. It is quite good. Now, I did test it. So I've got these down on the floor and I did um, want to show you the size differences between these. I mean, this is the new heat sink for the uh, 980X, the hex core, which you can see in my last video. And if we put that down there, you can see the size difference. If you want to see the um, uh, these pictures uh, uh, closer up, I'll try and post them up for you or you can check the review at overclock3d.net because there's lots of pictures on there but also uh, if you put the video into HD mode because I do upload all my videos in 1080 you'll be able to get a better representation from you know, big, much bigger size and there if I put it to the right to the side you can see it's a feral whack bigger than even a Cooler Master V8 so it's a big big heat sink now with my Rampage, uh, I didn't have any problems with the Northbridge heat sinks, but it was very close to the Ram. And when I get you off the tripod in a minute and give you a walk around it, um, I'll explain why. Now, uh, basically the system I'm using is the Rampage 2 Extreme, good old faithful. Uh, I've got an i7-920 in there, and it's running at 200 times 20 and it's also running now this is the crucial bit with an overclock it doesn't matter what your um like your overclock speeds are the multipliers and all the stuff when it comes to heat sinks and testing the, the biggest difference that you'll find is the v core because that generally where all the heat comes from now this is running 200 times 20 at 1.35 volts for a 4 gigahertz overclock um and we tested the uh the Intel heatsink, the V8, and the Noctua. We tested the Noctua twice, but I'll explain that in a sec. Now the Intel heatsink, after 30 minutes of Prime 95, which is actually running on the Noctua at the moment, because I'm going to um, show you when it comes in, um, it was 82 degrees. Now the Coolmaster V8, after 30 minutes of Prime 95, um, at high speed fans, was 78. Uh, the Noctua with the fans at 12 volts, so high speed fans, was 68, so 10 degrees less. Now the Noctua does actually uh, come with some fan resistor cable adapters to knock the fan speeds right down. I think it's 7 volts or 9 volts it knocks it down to. Now the Noctua is quiet at 12 volts, but if you put the fan um, resistor wires in, it's as good as silent, do you know what I mean, it's for a heat sink with, you know, it's this big and it's, it, it does push a fair old amount of air over it, we were expecting the temperatures to go up a fair bit, we were wrong, 4 gigahertz i7 on this cooler, only, it was 72 degrees, now that's absolutely amazing in my books, because, do you know what I mean, anyone that's used an i7, 920 and try to get it to 4 gigahertz on an air cooler you're going to know how hard it is you need loads of fans on them do you know what I mean and that's even if you're lucky to keep them at a decent temperature 
whereas this thing is silent at 72 degrees. Now, I've been water cooling for a long time, and I'm an avid water cooler, I do like water cooling, but if there was ever a heat sink that was going to sway me, I, could, you know, I, mean, I never thought I'd say it, but it's going to be this, because it's quiet. This is quieter than most water cooling radiators, but yet it's still keeping the temperatures at 100% within, you know, decent limits. I mean, this is sat here now, it's probably been priming for, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes, and I've got 72, 72, 71, 69 uh, across the four cores. So that's absolutely amazing. Now, I don't hand out my uh, gold award overclock 3D very lightly because the gold award for us is the best in the class. Now I'm going to give the Noctua the best in the class and pretty much it's throwing the gauntlet down. It's, you know, if any other manufacturer can bring me a heat sink that can cool like this, but most crucially this quietly because, do you know what I mean, I'm, I'm not interested in a 220 CFM Delta fan strapped to the side of a heat sink. If you can provide me a cooler that's this quiet and cools this well, then, do you know what I mean, wicked. I'd love to test it, I'd love to reward you too. At the moment, this is the most amazing heating that I've ever used. And uh, a lot of reviewers will give you uh, awards and all that kind of stuff, but this is that good, it's staying in my rig. I'm just about to build myself... Uh, my first kind of static i7 system for myself to work on on a daily basis and this is a heat sink that I'm going to be using in it so yeah it does it is bloody good but we're going to bring you in for some close up shots of the heat sink and around the motherboard uh, uh, now well here we go guys you can see this cooler is absolutely massive You can see what I mean about the RAM slots. You probably could get a slightly bigger heat sink in there, but it's not going to be a massive amount. That's what I meant about the fan protruding to cool the uh, the FET. And if we come around this side, you can see that there is still a fair bit of clearance on the North bridge there for me, but if you've got a large heat sink, it may cause you problems. But there you go, there's your close up shots. That's all you really need to see, isn't it? To sum up, it, it, this is running now um, Prime 95, and uh, the amount of heat that it throws out the back is absolutely amazing. I've never known a heat sink be this quiet, and it, it's like having a um, like a small heater, it's the only way I can explain it, it's like having a small heater uh, pummeling uh, warm air at me, but it's so quiet. Now, it is absolutely phenomenal, uh, 4 gigahertz i7, 1.35 V-Core, and with, with it on silent, it's 72, 73 at a push, max. Uh, if you turn it up to 12 volts, take the fan resistor cables out, it's still um, going to be the quietest set of fans in your system, without a shadow of a doubt. And even then it's 68 degrees, so below the 70 golden threshold for an air cooler. Um, so, yeah, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I can't recommend this enough. If there's anyone out there that's thinking, mm, I might go water cooling, um, I don't know, can I afford it? I've only got 100, I've only got 120 pounds to spend. Save your money, save the worry. Don't bother with one of those cheap kits. Get yourself that heatsink. Now, yes, that's a big thing for me to be saying because I am the king of water cooling, but to be quite honest with you, as far as recommendations are concerned, the £70, £69.99, that is, in the shops, and all you've got to do is chuck it on your heatsink, plug the fans in, job's done, you can't go wrong. So, OC3D Gold Award for the Noctua NHD14, absolutely gobsmacked uh, make sure you stay tuned guys because we've got plenty for you coming this week there's going to be a, a 
review up by tomorrow night, or sorry, there's going to be a first look up tomorrow night, something massive, so make sure you all check back. Uh, I don't say this very often, but click the subscribe button and make sure you read the Overclock 3D full review. Tiny Tom Logan, out.